It is Sunday morning and we are getting the last stump blind set up up at our upper farm. This is the uh, stump two. This is a blind we're going to be mostly rifle hunting out of this fall. We got all the supplies on, on the Honda right here. Our driver is ready to go here. Hopefully she pays close attention to where she's going. Got my worker Kaylee here working hard this morning. We are ready to roll. Take her slow. We've got the stump up here to our upper farm and we've got it kind of right where I think that my Uncle John was wanting it. Uh, the spot is really good right here for access. You can come in right up the edge of the field here and sneak up in here and we'll leave all this brush in here. In fact, I'll trim everything so you can see down into the food plot and it'll make it even thicker in here. And then from up there, I think we're gonna be able to see a lot of that strip food plot that's all brass cut up that edge we might have to cut down some of those trees on the hedgerow but right here we're going to get the whole bottom plot and the side plot with really good access up the edge of the field and the other thing you know we'll be able to see over this uh bank there's a trail that we always brush hog right on the edge of that brush in the woods and there's a lot of deer that use that during the day that you know traditionally we'd never be able to see them over here but with this being up right here, we're gonna be able to see that. So we're gonna go ahead and get after it here. We'll get the four by fours in and build the, build the frame. And this is way easier than the steel, that's for sure. We've got the four four by fours on and we just leveled it. We've got it level right on the money. We had to do some digging on each one of these on the back side. We had to go down pretty deep on that one. But uh, we got them leveled. So now we're gonna put our uh, footer for footer for the ladder is gonna go next, but of course that's in the back of the Honda and Kaylee took the Honda, so that's gonna go right there across the base of the door. And then we're gonna start doing our cross bracing and it'll come together pretty quick.
Haley and I got the stump and two wall set up this morning and uh, we've still got obviously a bunch of trimming to do. I could paint, you know, all this treated wood and stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I got everything set up in here. I got this handle put on. So you're gonna come in, open it up. Oh, one thing I was gonna mention too, I offset the stairs a little bit. I don't put the steps right in the middle. I put it right over to the left side because your door opens over here so that's where you're coming in and out so you're not stepping over to the middle just that's just something that i do so you're gonna come on in here and just like the stump three and the stump four we've got a nice shelf right here for of course a coffee or water or tea or something you got a shelf right here you've got keys for the front door it comes with this banks outdoors hat and you've got a spot for your cell phone and then you got a shelf in here right now i have all the blinds rolled up in there you've got a vent hole on the bottom vent hole on the top you've got a bow hanger right here you've got a banks blind uh light that you you can kind of put that wherever you want i put it over here on the left side and it tilts sets however you want it you've got uh obviously a four layered floor with a nice cushion top layer right here so it's super quiet this is all insulated this is going to stay really warm and it really contains your noise all these windows uh super quiet as well spin all these they're they're weatherproof and scent proof super quiet to open up and i'm going to go ahead and cut all this stuff down in the front so we've got a view of the food plot over here and over there and we're going to be able to see you know up the edge and we can see over this hill behind us here and pretty much this whole field so this is a much better situation being up high right here definitely going to help out so Pretty awesome. Oh, it comes with these Banks Outdoor shooting sticks too. So if you guys uh, are interested in one of these Banks blinds, right now if you go over to Ravelin Hill Archery and tell them you watch one of my videos and say, you know, you're gonna use the code KEO, they're gonna give you this whole entire lumber set for free. Everything that's already pre-cut and ready to go comes with the stairs already made for you. All you gotta do is set it up like I did in this video. And I'll tell you what, that is the way to go. The metal stand is not easy to deal with. Uh, we know that because we dealt with it. Uh, I would definitely go with the treated lumber. Much easier to do. Kaylee and I knocked it out this morning in no time. So uh, go down there, see Daniel at Ravelin Hill. Tell him you want a Banks uh, Stump 2, Stump 3, or Stump 4, and he'll get you hooked up. They're, they're sweet blinds. He'll load you right up, right on the spot, too. Uh, you can't beat the deal getting, you know, the whole setup with treated lumber for free. It's a heck of a deal. Anyways, we're going to come back uh, later on and cut all this stuff out and get this thing ready to hunt. So I'm looking forward to it. If I don't add that to this video, you'll see it on an upcoming video. Thanks for watching, everybody. You have anything to say, Kaylee? No. Nope. Just make sure you latch those windows up. Make sure I latch the windows. Okay. I made it back down here with the chainsaw. We're gonna go ahead and clear a bunch of this stuff out so we can see the food plot from uh, the stump too.
Well, I just made it look like a tornado went through there. We just went in there and annihilated pretty much everything that was in front of it. These thorn apple trees are a real uh, son of a gun to deal with. Let's see what we got up there now. Well, it looks like we need to take these trees out of here as well by the looks of things. We got a good line of sight that way now though. Man, what a mess these thorn apple trees are. They're all, you can't really follow them the direction you want because there's like, there's like eight trees and they're all intertwined. They grew all into each other. So it's just an absolute mess. And of course, everything pricks you and pokes you and scratches you. So I got in there and I got them all cut to where they'll they all went down so they're not going to be an issue for line of sight out of this and it's uh going to be really good cover you know sneaking in here so you're going to come up over the edge of the field you can have all this you know in between you and the food plots and there's enough brush in here that you know my uncle john's going to be able to sneak right in here with no issues and he'll have a good line of sight now There's a few sumacs that I'm going to have to cut up out of there. But there's the view now. We've got everything trimmed about as good as it's going to get. So the next step is going to be painting all the treated lumber. And we got to sink that earth anchor in the bottom there. I've got uh, each post sunk in with uh, wooden stakes real deep and those are connected so i'm not worried about it going anywhere uh as long as we don't get like hurricane force w winds in the next few days i'll come back and get that earth anchor in with a cable and uh this is going to be good to go We've got an absolutely beautiful view from inside here i'll show you the view out the window here so that's all new sheeting down there there's four different varieties of clover. And then everything up here is all brassica. There's about three quarters of an acre of brassica right there. So this is gonna be a pretty sweet blind. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in one of these, check out the link in the, well, the phone number, if you want a quote on one of these, call Daniel at Ravlin Hill. Get yourself a free stand with it. You can't beat it. Thanks for watching everybody.